Cancer. This is the video for Cancer Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or also if you're looking at a Cancer, you're like, I want to hit it with that Cancer, and so you're just kind of like nosy and peeking into their life. So what can we expect for the month of July? How are Cancers seeing themselves this month in regards to love? Well, <laughs> you are indeed single. Everything mm -hmm. else is kind of working out in your life and you have everything you kind of want except for that partner. But you're happy there. And um, there's nothing necessarily that needs to change except for to bring in that person, right? Now, how are other people viewing you in the month of July? Well, they're wanting to offer you love. But um, maybe you're not necessarily... Um, giving off the impression that you're interested in them, that a deep romantic bond could be formed. Now, that's something that you would have to um, change. So how, in fact, do we do that in order to let love in? Well, it's going to be a decision or a choice. Um, if So this, I'm taking this a couple different ways. So it's a decision just to say, you know what, like make affirmations. I'm open to receive love, okay? But then the other thing with this is that... Um, because we are so focused on like finally getting to this good place where it seems like everything's kind of aligned, we're organized, like work is going good, finances are going good, like friendships, all of these things are kind of falling into place. We're really, really stable. And then it's like, um, so, you know, maybe relationships and meeting people, we've kind of kept those things like at bay, like, okay, I'm going to go on some dates with you. I might, uh, have sex with you, but that's about it. Right. Um, and it's like, this isn't actually, though, necessarily what you want, but you're afraid, as far as balance goes, if you give too much to, um, like, a new relationship or something like that, if you invest too much, then maybe everything else falls by the wayside. And they say, it's okay to take things slow. We're not saying that that's not the right thing for you. Um, but, 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 um, if other people that you're meeting, okay, so here's the thing. Those kind of people that you're doing this with in your life, if they don't want the same things as you, um, recognize that and be very clear about um, what the relationship is. But if they do want, if you and the other person are kind of looking for something longer term and it's not just like a fling, like not just like um, companionship for the moment being, um, then that's all going to have to change. But things will change in a positive way if you kind of release that way of things going for you. Now, what do you need to avoid in the month of July in order to attract love? Um, speaking without thinking. <laughs> So every time you're going to say something, it's like, take a breath, think about what you're saying, and then say it. And it's not necessarily like saying things out of anger either. It's just like trying to control your impulse, okay? Because the problem is that um, something from the past hasn't really made you feel super confident. And so it's like a defense mechanism, you know, where um, maybe somebody tries to compliment you. They say, wow, you look really great tonight. And then you say, oh, you look really great tonight. You know what I mean? And um, it's kind of silly, but then they're like, wow, this person can't receive a compliment? Like, what the hell? Um, sorry about that interruption. Now, what can you increase or what can you do to increase or grow or attract love in the month of July? And it says, like, don't be defensive. Um, when other people ask you things, if they say like, hey, where are you? What are you up to? That kind of a thing. Um, if they're asking you out, you don't have to defend why you say yes or no. Those kind of things. Um, it says, take things very slowly because we don't want to get into the wrong type of relationship. And that's kind of what I was saying previous, where it's like you might be attracting people who um, want different things than you do. And um, it says this isn't really something that you need to go deep within and reflect on. But if you have a fear that you're going to grow old, old alone, then law of attraction is going to bring that to you. It's going to take a long time to attract the right person. And so kind of release those fears. Um, that's what I'm getting here. Now, it says what they want you to do is to continue is to start thinking about what you want for the long term. Okay, what is the kind of person that you want to grow old with? Um, not the kind of person you want right now in this minute. Um, what, is, what do they look like? Like, what kind of qualities do they possess? Um, and by thinking forward and not about the past, you're starting to heal. And you're going to come into some good emotional balance there. 
Now, what is working for you this month? in regards to bringing in love. So as I mentioned before, you're coming out of this place where maybe things didn't seem super balanced out. Um, you're achieving financial balance, like home se like security, like it, with where you live, with work, with friendships, all of these things, um, even in your family life, those are really moving forward. And so um, to meet somebody else who's on that same level where they've got their shit together instead of somebody who doesn't, um, now we're gonna be vibrating at the same level and so we can therefore or better attract that and this is a change um, because we might have been attracting people who either had their stuff more together than we did or you know they kind of didn't so we're either outgrowing people from the past um, who weren't necessarily at the same place that we are and now we're starting to bring those in and even though um, you know releasing past loves and things like that is hard we're focusing on the benefits of that and what kind of things it does bring into our life in a very material or tangible sense like um okay well somebody else who has like a very secure job like now i finally got into is going to be a better match for me because we don't have to argue about money or things like that and realistically these things are more important to you than you realized before and so they're like you know, make sure that you're thinking about the kind of qualities of a person that you would like in your life because you're going to start drawing those in very, very quickly through law of attraction. Now, um, what are kind of just the general outcomes for love this month for single cancers? Um, the foundation of new relationships that are solid is really, really likely and being excited about that. Now it's saying that, you know, an old way of life is coming to a close and this new way of life that we're coming into and now it might take through kind of the end of July. Oh, happy birthday, by the way, <laughs> for those of you July cancers. Um, so it might kind of be towards the end of the month that we start to see this, but meeting new people and being very realistic about what we want. Now, if past lovers come back, we're going to be saying, you know what, maybe I'll be willing to give you a chance, but I'm going to be very direct about what it is that I want and clear. And we're going to be really good at this month weeding out those who just don't um, suit our long-term goals or needs. And it's like, we're going to, it, there's a, affirmation that I pull cards for a lot of people on in private readings that says something like I'm only attracted to those who serve my highest good and this is going to be something that you kind of are living by in this month um, even if it's accidental and if it isn't kind of showing up for you if you're kind of feeling suspicious or worried maybe that's a good affirmation for you to use I'm only attracted to those who um, serve my highest good okay now, what is the lesson that we um, are learning in the month of July in regards to love? And I'm getting cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person has experience and has value. So learning from other people, getting to really know them before we kind of discount them. But that's what that card is about here with the Queen of Swords. It's like, okay, I'm going to hear what you have to say, and then I'm going to decide. I'm going to be open-minded, but I'm not going to be stupid. And from that point forward, then I'll kind of know if we're on the same page or not. So it looks like many of you will be manifesting and drawing in love relationships this month. So good luck with that. Love and light. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat. Like on Facebook.